Uh, hey YouTube, what's up? It's Jay Rudis one back again with another video, and this is another video on my Trek 820. Last video I had was the review, and this is just gonna be an update video of what happened to my bike. But in the review, I said I got the new kickstand, and I also have the uh, cup holder, which is nice and useful. They don't make a vertical one, but this is the horizontal one that goes on the down tube. So, yeah, get that. You're going to get one of these. Very useful. And the next thing is my handlebars. Yes, they're bents. I know. They bent right here at the reflector, which fell off too, as you can see. But, yeah, they, there they are, bents. So, I'm not going to be riding it for the rest of the year. I'm just going to get new handlebars in springtime. I'm going to get the... I don't really know what I'm going to get. I want to get uh, bars. I saw some. I forgot what they were. But I saw some bars that had the... Uh, I, it's, I think it said was anti-bend stem zone. So, at the stem, this one bent to the reflector, but if the reflector wasn't there, it would have bent to the stem. So, with the bars I might get, I forgot what they were called, and they're not going to bend to the stem if I crash again, which hopefully I won't. But this was a huge dirt mound, and it was very loose dirt, and my front tire just got caught, because it doesn't, like, have any... It's, like, a nice tire, but... Yeah, it just got caught, and went me to the left... And yeah, so that's what happened there to my bars. But besides that, and the reflector, obviously, like I said, everything's okay. The shocks are the shocks are fine. They got they didn't have any scratches. They're not bent. Shocks are perfectly fine. The front rim's fine. Not bent either. It's fine. Um, the crank. I thought this might have bent, cause. Yeah, I just thought it might have bent, but the crank didn't bend either, which is good. So, that saves me some more money. So, all I'm going to get is new bars. And, yeah, that's probably all. Because, yeah, like I said, everything else is fine. But, I'm going to get the new bars spring next year so I can ride it comfortably. And I just, I'm not really going to ride it anymore. I've just been riding my brother's bike. But, yeah, I'm going to get new grips, too. Because I'm not sure if you can tell, but these are, yeah, you can, like, that's what it's supposed to be like. But it's, like, all worn out. And especially, like, right there, it's extremely worn. And same with the other one. Extremely worn out. And this is, that's messed up, too. So, yeah, I'm probably going to get new, I might get, uh, I'm going to get lock-on grips and probably rogue lock-on for that. New bars, and that'll be good because this is all rusty and scratched, like I said in my review video. But the shifters are fine. So it's just fine. It's a little bit delayed shifting for the derailleur, but like I said in my review, that was from probably when I got hit by the car. But yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know, update on my bike. If you're thinking about buying it, that's a weak spot. The bars, I don't even think these bars are that expensive, which is probably why. But yeah, I'm probably going to get carbon fiber anti-stem bend bars. Okay, well, just wanted to let you know on that update of my bike. Track 820, it's probably the only weak spot it has. Besides that, it's a reliable bike, comfortable, and peace.